World Derby World Cup 2016 live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. We are going to be on track to shortly where we'll see the next game of Team Ireland versus Team USA. It's our first uh, red group game of the day. On track one at the moment, we've got Team Chile taking on Team England. Team England in the lead, 72 to 5 points for Chile. Uh, with just over 19 and a half minutes left to play there. So, uh, interesting game so far. We expected England to dominate on that one, but Chile going to be happy that they've put some points on the board. Um, team Ireland, Team USA, this is going to be a big game for Team Ireland. Uh, any, any team in the tournament this weekend is definitely going to want to put some points on the board for, against Team USA. And uh, I think if Team Ireland can put more points on the board than Team Scotland did against Team USA, they are going to be absolutely ecstatic. Um, as I understand it, we'll hopefully have some of the Team Island guys coming over for an interview after on track two, so stay tuned for that. Um, they're gonna, gonna wheel their way over here at some point afterwards. Um, so, an exciting game coming up for Team Island. Um, following that, on track one, we'll have Team Sweden playing Team Italy. And then again on track two, following that at midday, is Japan versus Team Finland. Uh, what you uh, need to remember is that we are seven, seven hours behind the UK for those of you that have tuned in from the UK um, and it's mountain time here in the US so it's currently uh, 10 past 11 in the morning um, thank you to everybody for joining us wherever you are in the world if you stayed up past midnight and it's the early hours of the morning and you're keeping it strong you're doing an awesome job we've had a great turnover in terms of viewers so you guys are what's making this happen we've got an awesome production crew here I want to say a huge thank you to everybody there and of course all of our announcers so I'm gonna hand over to track two um, where a couple of the guys are going to be ready to bring you some rosters and information about our next game which is Ireland versus USA All right, we are back here at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup, live from Calgary. I am Rakas Ron with Holly. Hello. It, this is gonna be an interesting game. We have Ireland versus the USA, and uh, we'd definitely like to hear your uh, tweets in about uh, the game as it's going on, your shout outs to your favorite players. So what do you think about this matchup, Holly? Well, it's gonna be an interesting one for sure. We've got Ireland coming in after uh, two defeats and one win of the uh, beat Japan yesterday. Um, they do need to win this game to to progress further, so it's quite likely this will be their last game of, this, of this tournament. USA, the heavy favorites <laughs> in every game they're in. They are indeed, and, and of yeah. course coming in top seeded for the from the last World Cup. Um, mm -hmm. Ireland, I think they're going to be playing hard. They they want to get points. They they certainly want to be looking at topping the score that Scotland got against USA. Yes. So that's definitely going to be a goal for them. So they're looking to get a handful of points if they can get over the three and if they can keep USA to under the score that Scotland had. I think that's the friendly rivalry that's going on that's right. currently between the the teams from the UK. Mm -hmm. Well, regardless of the outcome, I know Ireland's having a great time. And uh, uh, why don't you run us through their lineup real quick? I will do indeed. Today playing, we have the captain 042 Lieutenant Dan. Uh, 045 Abnorman, number 10 Noblet, 1000 McLaughlin, 108 Chris Cox, number 27 McGrath, number 4 Goy Verts, number 50 Jamie Gray, number 6 Heron, number 82 Mick Dastardly, number 9 McCarthy, number 904 Raven Buster, number 981 Roche, and number 989 Ali Gately. All right, and for the USA, we have uh, uh, 0260 McAfee, 10 Carter. 125, M-Tram, 19, Streak, 24, 68, D-Box, 28, B. Smith, 3, Tony Muse, 34, Atlas, um, 5, 515, Thornton, 6, Jonathan R, 618, J. Woodward, number 8, C. Smith, 82, Percy Control, and 9, Austin, that's your Team USA roster. They are getting ready to start, moving out to the track right now. We are looking at the lineup we've got at the moment. It is the captain 042 Lieutenant Dam taking the star on the Nerd Skate Shop Jammer Line for Team Island, who are playing in white with the green and uh, yellow shorts. 
Yes, and Carter, also known as Rolamite, former MVP of the um, MRDA Championships. Go ahead, Holly. Yeah, uh, Carter just powering his way through. Lost his balance, just coming out from that turn, but back up on his feet and rolling back around now on a scoring pass. Lieutenant Dan being recycled back by Percy Control. And he's now having to battle against a very solid two wall there. Carter up at the front, picking up a five point pass. Quite an easy pass for him on that inside line. Lieutenant Dam now trying that outside. Dodges around the inside. Just one more. He's up against Akis and he breaks free. Huge cheer from the nice Ireland supporters. Yeah, so quite an Ireland contingent here today <laughs> as well. And you know, the crowd is always a fan of the underdog at these events. <laughs> and uh, so when Ireland scores points, you're sure to hear a roar that is deafening in the house. Absolutely. I think um, quite a lot of the um, travellers over from Europe will be behind Ireland, That's with right. perhaps the ex exception of the Scottish fans. They, they, <laughs> they, may, they may not be quite here. A little friendly rivalry there. <laughs> it never hurts. <laughs> or not anyway. so friendly. <laughs> no. 9 0 for Raven Buster now on that Nerds Gate Shop jammer line. And he's up against number nine, Austin, for Team USA. Austin being held at the back, he's knocked down to the ground and knocked out, and that is by Roche, who's now recycling him back. D-Bot's trying to stop that from happening, but he does recycle back. However, Raven Buster also being recycled by D-Bot, so he's doing defense offense at the same time. Yeah, good defense here uh, by Ireland. Got a, a nice wall structure, but now broke down by that offense of the of, uh, US. Yeah, that's a break for Austin at the front with Lee Jammer. Uh, Roche was unable to chase him down. Raven Buster knocks to the inside line and recycled back. Raven Buster, who played in the first Men's World Roller Roll Derby World Cup for Team Ireland, uh, but suffered a leg fracture whilst he was over in Birmingham. So it's mm. great to see him back here representing the team. Beautiful inside apex hop by Raven Buster, but Austin already ran on his second scoring pass. And with the Irish blockers just taken aside by USA's defensive team. That's a, another swift pass through for Team USA. They're currently 17 points to zero. Well, this is a good sign for Ireland that they've been able to break out of the pack. You know, a lot of teams have had a difficult time even getting out on a jam. And we saw a 42-point uh, uh, jam uh, yesterday and for, for USA. Um, and a lot of jammers have been on lockdown. So good, good on you, Ireland. I think they'll be very proud of what they're getting on at the moment. We've mm -hmm. got 045 Ab Norman, who is on the nerd skate shop jammer line. And that's number 28B Smith, who's just using that sideways motion, lovely little dart around on his toe stops. Uh, lead jam against Team USA. Brandon Smith, a star from uh, Texas, uh, men's roller derby. <laughs> Ab Norman <laughs> throws his hands in the air, massive <laughs> smile on his face as he breaks free. And you, you could probably tell before we do with the cheer. Uh, Brandon Smith calling that jam. Ab Norman not able to score any points, but He's still happy. Look at the huge smile on his face. Ah, this is some roller derby spirit here. Bruce Skate News, the original over-the-shoulder roller skate holder. You spend a lot of money on those skates. Don't shove them in a bag full of sweaty gear. Your, your skates hate that. Keep your skates aired out and show them off with Bruce Skate News. Now we've got number one zero Noblet. He's done a lot of jamming for Team Ireland already this weekend. So he's going to be a firm favorite for Ireland to try and break out of the pack. And he's up against, however, the, the, the big name, number six, Jonathan R. From the All-Star team last time round. And Jonathan R, indeed, just coasts around, thumbs up to the uh, video camera. He used, and sorry, he's using the force of Team Islands to actually push his way through. Red Zeppelin, the number 10 jumps right by him there, but he had him on lockdown. Oh, but he picks up the cut track, force cut track from, from uh, Woodward, also known as Bud Zeppelin. This has given us a Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam for Jonathan R. That is the last thing that Team Ireland want to give away. And McAfee for Team USA is looking to draw a goat back on Mick Dastardly. Mick, Mick's not playing that game, but Jonathan R. A big thumbs up again once more to the, uh, I don't know if it's the audience or the camera that he's uh, loving the most. Oh. There we go. Set up well with a nice uh, offensive block by McAfee. Saw that coming. It's going to be dangerous territory for Ireland to, to be pausing on that apex. <laughs> yes. And this time they're able to slow him down, but Roche unable to stop him from going. Very difficult to stop Jonathan R for very long. A long-standing member of a New York Shock Exchange. Indeed. And Ireland now on the offense as well. Jonathan R back on the scoring pass. Both jammers knocked to the inside line. 
And USA taking down to just three blockers. Is this going to play for Noblet? D Bot will take a seat in the penalty box for USA on a forearm. Jonathan R slowed down now. It's Ali Gately and Keegan doing a fantastic job just holding him back. Bit of work in here as well, coming from McLaughlin. Oh, but a beautiful clear by Atlas. A beautiful, a little bit of a penalty heavy, but it was cleared lovely for his jammer. However, Jonathan R taken out as well. Recycled back. Noblet also knocked to the outside. So there was a lot of action going on in that jam. The jam was having to work quite hard for what they were getting. Um, but Ireland kept to a zero. USA on 40. Let's have a look now at the action. That beautiful clear that you were telling us about. Mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan R taking a huge hit there by uh, Roche. On the well, Ireland playing line. a solid game so far, despite the score. 40 to uh, zero, USA at the moment. And we've got 0-4-2 Lieutenant Dam up against Carter. I believe was that the matchup for the very first jam. So we're going to see something similar again. Lieutenant Dam pushing at the front. You can hear the crowd picking it up. And, and a first lead jam for Ireland, Lieutenant Dam. The crowd, honestly, the noise in this place is <laughs> tremendous. And Ireland have a goat as well, so that is going to be points. For Team Ireland, Lieutenant Dan is going for more as Carter pushes wow. his way through. That pack is spread wide out. Carter takes the inside line. Dan knocks to the outside. Pulls that jam to an end. Yeah, Carter getting in there and getting the better of the points with four, but picking up three is uh, four Ireland. Yeah. We did have a little bit of a, a, a cluster just at the end. Let's have a look once more. Beautiful pull off now. There's just a little bit of action after the whistle here. So Ireland are going to be starting with just three blockers on the track as they've had one sent to the penalty box at the very end of that jam. We've got 9-0-4 Raven Buster on the jammer line. He's up against Milan like Austin. Austin running through and pushing that Ireland wall forwards. I think he's going to break that pack. He does indeed. Picks up lead jammer. Raven Buster having a steady time at the back. Austin so good at pushing from those toe stops and running straight through blockers. It was it was very much like he, the, the, the blockers were unable to, to put any force down into the ground to slow themselves down. Um, I'm sure they were, but mm -hmm. that was beautiful work. Austin now a very easy inside line score that um, Team USA is just holding back Raven Buster and clearing the inside line. It's, it's beautiful work to see them play. Yeah, these seal blocks from Team USA, this is like they're putting on a clinic in blocking and how to offensive blocking, extraordinary. Yeah, Austin having picked up now three full grand slams, he's coming back around looking for a fourth. Raven Buster trying that inside line, but he's not, just knocked off the inside. Has a quick look to see what, what's happening where he's coming back on. He's been sent off actually for a low block penalty, he's taking himself off the track. So we've got a roller derby athletics power jam now in favor of Team USA. And Austin jumping his way through, puts his hand up towards his ear just to, to see how the crowd are doing, what, what he's doing. Team USA have managed to find themselves a goat, but Ireland still fighting strong, just slowing Austin down at the front. McGrath unable to just hold him back. This what is a scrappy a Irish guy there. <laughs> <laughs> Goy Verd's trying to push his way through. Oh, and Austin calls it. I think he's just seen Raven Buster standing in the penalty box. So that's a clever call off. Well, you are watching some of the most elite skaters in the world here on the track for Team USA and uh, Roller Derby Elite, the brand that defines the sport, the platinum sponsor of Team USA Roller Derby. Tony Muse and the guys over there at Roller Derby Elite really know what they're doing. Tony's one of the legends of the sport and uh, put together a great brand. Okay, we're now gonna go to a Quad Skate Shop team timeout. We'll catch you after this commercial. We're going to be testing three helmets today. This simulates a 10 mile an hour impact or a four foot drop. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS Fusion Foam did pass the multiple impact test. Okay, we've got quite a few of you coming across to us on the hashtag MRDWC shout outs. Um, lots in favor of uh, Team Ireland. That's uh, right. We've got Dana Jensen Well, go on Ireland. So proud of you, look from Limerick Roller Derby. And also, um, Wiltshire Roller Derby giving a shout out to Jamie Gray. They're so proud. Fantastic. 
fantastic. And Zero of Hyrule tweeted in quite a number of times for uh, Noblet. Some say the best Irishman is a Frenchman. Mm -hmm. So lots of love coming through from across the pond. However, we have got a Roller Derby Athletics Power Jam in favor of Team USA, Brandon Smith, on this start. Be interesting to watch the offensive maneuvers here of the US with the Power Jam start. And as you would expect, they were body on body and Brandon Smith, lead jammer in short order. Yeah, it was very interesting to see. They, they cleared the inside. Brandon still carried on through the middle with that soft offense. So they just sort of cleared out a way for Brandon to push his way through Ireland. He's now in on a scoring pass, being held back quite well by Chris Cox at the front. Cox just unable to hold him at that last moment and gets a block, uh, an elbows penalty. Ireland now down to three blockers, but Raven Buster back on the track. Brandon Smith through once again for another five, bring the U.S. up to 82. Raven Buster taking a hit again to that inside line and beautiful clearance there by Atlas for Team USA, giving a nice easy ride for Brendan Smith. However, Raven Buster not having quite so much of a good time. He's taking a little bit of a break. It's going to be hard work for him pushing his way through. Just the two blockers. Ireland are trying their best to move Team USA around, but they are so solid. Yeah, more smart work by Atlas, known as Corey Payne. Um, really one of the smartest blockers out there. Uh, been known for doing that sort of thing for years. We have had a star pass now, and it is number 108, Chris Cox, who is taking the lead for... Uh, Team Ireland trying to get more points on the board. Brandon Smith racking up the points though as he's going around. It's another Grand Slam which is giving them currently a 34 point jam with 15 seconds left on the clock. And another set of points for Brandon Smith. Chris Cox taken back by Percy Control who again knocks into that inside line and recycles back. Oh, that is a huge jam for Team USA. 44 points on the board for that single jam, holding Ireland to nothing. I think that was definitely in retaliation to the, uh, the points Ireland put yes. on in the jam previously. <laughs> Certainly, but done with class. Ro roller Skate in Canada. Uh, it is a trusted provider of roller derby teams across Canada for over 11 years with the best customer service. We sell and service the, all the top derby brands, safety gear, and tons of recreational skates too. Over 30 years of experience, quad skating and know-how, rollerskating.ca. Oh, and we've had some action here already. Jonathan Arg was knocked off the track by Noblet, but however, Noblet was given a back block penalty as he did so. So this is a Roller Derby Athletics power jam in favor of Jonathan R. Again, Ireland giving him a power jam. It's, it's not going to be the best thing for them to do. Mm -hmm. It was obviously a tactic that Noblet was trying to do, just executed not in the best fashion. And now Ireland are, are trying their best to regroup and defend. Down three blockers, they're now rejoined and have four. And that seems to be giving them just enough to slow down Jonathan R. Nice defensive wall there for Ireland. Jonathan R slicing through for another five. Noblet now back on track, so that's the end of that Roller Derby Athletics power jam. Oh, oh but that now is another a... forced penalty. U.S. so good at those forced penalties in the cut tracks. That was a forearm. So Jonathan R now still able to continue on. Second Roller Derby Athletics power jam for him in this jam. Still with 45 seconds to go on the clock. Beautiful work there by Jamie Gray just to get back in front of Jonathan R. And now that's got a full wall that he's coming up against. Ooh. Alec Gately knocking him to the inside and Jonathan R has had enough. And that's right in front of the island crowd, which is why you can uh, most definitely hear their cheers, I'm sure, over the uh, feed here. And Jonathan R, as usual, getting up with a smile, congratulating the, the good, congratulating him on the hit. But we haven't seen the Team USA skaters on the floor very much today. Yeah, Team Ireland definitely, if they're not going to take a win in this game overall, they're taking their own little goals back from this. Yeah. Well, we've seen a lot of Carter, and he'll step out to the line again on a Roller Derby Athletics power jam for the U.S. 
Team Ireland with a fast start, and USA trying to pull a goat to split that pack apart. Got to just slow down. Beautiful work. See his balance there was amazing coming out at the front just Always to dodge great those hits. Work. McCarthy trying to clear that inside line, noble it up against just two Team USA blockers currently. Oh, big hit by McGrath on Carter just to slow him down. Oh, one hand down, but that is it's given us a... No, he's allowed to go through. That's one hand down and you're safe. Noblet breaking free from the pack. Will he call it off in time? Yes, he will. So no more points for Ireland there. Quad Skate Shop team of the tournament. Fans, we're letting you choose one of your MVPs. This year's Quad Skate Shop team Skate Shop team of the tournament will now include a fan favorite award as chosen by you. So be sure to check out our Facebook page during Saturday's play to vote for your favorite. It's Quad Skate Shop. And again, send us through your tweets. Hashtag MRDWC. We're keeping an eye on that page as well. 045 Ab Norman on the jammer line up against number nine Austin. Um, team USA depleted. Uh, team Ireland quite depleted. We're looking at a tiny pack there on the track. Austin finding that inside line, just gets his shoulder around Alligately. Alligately going straight in, however, for the clearance. But Ab Norman taking off on that inside line. Being held very, uh, very well. Beautiful footwork there by D Bots. Grand Slam already going through to Team USA. Five more points added on the board. Ab Norman trying to, oh! Now that is going to be a penalty for Austin. That is leaping contact. So we are thrown now to a roller derby athletics power jam in favor of Team Ireland. And Ab Norman recycled back. Team USA full force on the track. And Ireland now doing their best to just scupper USA apart and give Ab Norman the best chance of getting through as possible. We've got Ali Gately trying to clear that inside line. He clears enough for one, but not enough for Ab Norman to make his way around. And he's been recycled the full length of that far straight. Ab Norman now just working his way through Ireland, trying their best to slow him down. Ab Norman going around the outside and the pace is picking up. He's just up against Thornton and he manages to break through. He's got just over 30 seconds to try and get some more points on the board for Ireland as Austin works his way around the outside line. Ireland trying to slow down this pack and give it an opportunity to get in there. Now recycled to the outside. Now coming back in appears to have some positioning, but slicing through is Austin once again. It's a very good recycle back by McCaffrey. He's really slowed Ab Norman down. And Ireland want to be putting on the pressure if they want to get any points out of this. There's barely eight seconds left on the clock. Ab Norman just doing his best, looking at his blockers. Oh. Some good clearance coming through. And let's have a look, that is... <laughs> Chris Cox with a big clearing block, opening up some points, more points <laughs> on the board for Ivan, three more, so bringing them up to seven. And again, a huge smile from Ab Norman as he makes his way back to the bench. That's right. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, Roller Derby City said, so proud of our Ab Norman getting through the USA pack. Look at his happy little face, and that's from earlier action. From the other track, we have uh, Mexico has completed their four games and are looking to place second in the green group below Canada, depending on how Wales does versus Germany. And that should be an exciting game to watch, but this game is not over and there's still loads of excitement here. So we see number 28, Brandon Smith. He's just completed his initial passes, lead for Team USA up against 042, Lieutenant Dam, who's having a little bit of a tough time at the back. He's been recycled out a number of times and Brandon Smith is just currently on his laps. Yep, unopposed as he makes his way around on a second Grand Slam in this jam. Oh, Lieutenant Dam, oh, just not quite able to keep his footing. Did a spin, stayed in, but the second spin took him back out and he's recycled back on that far straight. Brandon Smith this time getting a little bit of opposition, but beautiful footwork spinning his way around. Yep. Yeah, always, always good footwork from Brandon Smith. Brandon Smith into the mix, into the back of one of his own skaters. Jam ending with two more for USA, and it'll bring USA to 181, seven for Ireland. 
And I'm just going to give you a little shout out to Wicko Skates who say, greeting from Finland. Your feet called, they need a hug. Best regards from Wicko Skates. Check them out online. We'll see Raven Buster on the line versus Jonathan R this time for the US. Full contingent for both teams. Got David Buster on. Stop lockdown in the back. And four of the USA now getting some offensive help. Ali Gately has been working as the offensive player for nearly the majority of his track time. Jonathan R now again into the mix, getting knocked out of bounds. Excellent defensive work there. Breaking the pack. Raven Buster. Raven Buster breaking free, but Jonathan R calling that jam just before Raven can hit. And he gives a high five to all of the crowd on the far side, but no points for Ireland. Let's have a look back and see some of those moves. Beautiful low line, but a wonderful hit out by Roche. Tries to recycle back, and that just allowed enough time for Raven to, to clear on that inside line. We'll see Noblet and Carter take the line for their respective teams now. It's 10 versus 10. Mm -hmm. Ireland working their way up at the front, just the two blockers on the track. You see Smith up there trying to separate them. USA always having someone on the offensive side, very rarely holding, for, having four blocking. And McGrath at the front, unable to keep his uh, cool. It's just pushed out of the way by Carter. Noblet oh. recycled again, rolling back. Streak with that great defensive footwork and the turnaround blocking. And USA just, you know, textbook on the recycle as yeah. well. It's just you get past one person, you, you have to come up against them and their mates one more time. It's, it's, yeah. And the timing is excellent. And we see that, you know, that experience. The US has been playing Derby a little bit longer <laughs> than a lot of these other countries. Oh! <laughs> That had, was huge. It was Big huge. jump over the blockers. Amazing, Carter. And that's the kind of stuff that earned him MVP 2014 MRDA Championships. He plays a slow game, pulls that off just before either Jammer can hit the back and get points on the board. Let's have a look one more time and see. We caught those apexes. A little one there by Noblet, and then a huge one by Carter following. Jumping off his own skaters. Fantastic. We're looking at 045 Ab Norman on the jammer line. He's up against number nine Austin for Team USA. Team USA down to just three blockers on the track. They are swiftly now being rejoined by Percy Control, so it's four on four. And Ab Norman being held on that inside. He's testing the outside, but Team USA have really settled into their defensive play. Lead has gone to Austin. He is sucked back into the pack, but manages to dart his way around McLaughlin and breaks once more for round for his initial pass, uh, his initial scoring pass. Ab Norman clearing on that inside line. McLaughlin not quite able to take Austin out, and Austin's just having a quick look to his bench as he realizes that there has been a break by Ab Norman. But some really, really clever tactical timing here by Team USA. They know they have the advantage with the time on their side. Derbyshop.nl, the Derby Shop, because roller derby saved your soul but wrecks your gear. The Derby Shop is an online as well as brick and mortar shop in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, or online at thederbyshop.nl. And is known for the best advice and technical support when it comes to all of your roller derby gear. If you ever visit, bring cookies. Derbyshop.nl. We've got 042 Lieutenant Dam, who's had a shout out from Steph B on Twitter saying, Go on, Dam Potato, who's jamming now for Team Ireland. But it is Team USA who has taken lead jammer. Oof. A huge hit there on the inside line. Lieutenant Dam having to recycle his way back, but taking a good flat out hit in the meantime. 
Both teams now having blockers come back out of the penalty box to reinforce their way. Ireland now looking to do as much defensive work as possible as Dam's broken free, but Brandon Smith is having nothing of it. And those moves were like lightning as he dodged his way through that pack, picks up the points and calls the jam straight away, holding Ireland to a zero. Absolutely. You know, and you, these Team USA skaters, they've worked together so much and have played against each other. Um, all these guys, uh, or the majority of them, have played in the MRDA championships and have been working together for years or against each other and together. So you're seeing that kind of coordinated teamwork here from this team. Lots of experience as well. Raven Buster and Jonathan R. Raven Buster being guided into that three wall by Jonathan R. And Ireland being pushed at the front, unable to stop Jonathan R as they're out of play. Lead going to Team USA. Well, good recycling by Ali Gately to bring Jonathan R back on at the back, but I think the Matrix have given him some space. They have indeed. They gave him enough space to pick up that momentum. And he takes a nice dip around the outside line, picks up another Grand Slam pass. Meanwhile, we have got some pushing by Raven Buster at the front. He just seems to be getting locked down by Team USA's blockers. Oh, tries to push his way over. It's now being held by Streak. And again, Ali Gately in there to try and provide some offensive play. But as the pack's caught back up, Raven Buster is now all the way at the back. And that's a call off by Jonathan R. Quite unusual there. And what a challenge to try and get by Streak. You know, one of the greats of the sport and D-Bot, one, one of the upcoming most fantastic speedy jammers, I mean blockers on the floor. Really great footwork on the defensive side by D-Bot. Uh, just incredible, I'm a huge fan. And of course, we, we are so glad to be here, obviously mm -hmm. having prime seats at the Men's Roller Derby World Cup. If you want to host it next time, please do go over to MRDWC and put in your bid to host the 2018 World Cup. Another 10 versus 10, Noblet versus Carter. One blocker in the box for the US. Carter will break free. Noblet knocked to the ground. Trying to find some space. Needs a little bit more offensive blocking in there. And just as you asked for it, <laughs> we have Gray coming in to try and clear it. However, a little bit too steady. I think Team USA now really sort of clocked on with how Ireland are playing, um, really aware of when that offence is coming in. Ireland now dropped back to just a 3D, but USA, as you said, rarely playing full defence, and D-Box comes down, holds that inside line open, and again, it's another swift pass for Team USA's jammers. You know, it's times like this, I think, that it's, it's time to play full offense and, you know, break your jammer out because if, you're, if the other jammer is getting by routinely and uh, you're having great success and your jammer is getting t more and more tired over there, you've got to get them out and stop the bleeding. Oh, absolutely. It's sometimes it's the only thing that can force that call off by Team USA, uh, with the exception of Jonathan R's previous jam, which was just for funsies. Carter almost unstoppable among um, among anybody out there, let That's alone Ireland. I was almost going to go to a band reference there, yeah. the unstoppable something machine yeah. by Carter. Um, but yes, he's, he's, Ireland seem to have really sort of lost their togetherness. They, I think they need to, to reinvigorate and get their closeness together. They were so solid in that first sort of 5-10 right. minutes. Yeah. And that seems to have de deflated almost once they've picked up points. Whether that's they've ticked off their goal and, and they're holding back now, I don't know. But um, it would be really nice to see them glue themselves back together and show us what they had in the first 10 minutes once more. This is their fourth 30-minute uh, game, so they may be wearing down a little bit. And, uh... USA is so deep, able to bring in fresh legs. Go ahead, Holly. Yeah, we are looking at uh, Lee Jammer for um, number nine, Austin. And in the meantime, 045 Abnorman for Team Ireland, still pushing his way through. Abnorman being recycled to that inside line by McCarthy. And he comes up now up against, trying to push his way through now. Abnorman is quite slender. He saw a gap, he's gonna go for it, and he's bendy enough to get through. But it, the gap is taken by Austin instead on that inside line. Ali Gately going to the penalty box. That's the pivot for Team Ireland. He has been playing offense quite solidly for Team Ireland. So I think they might be 
Yes, they might be a bit depleted without it. And indeed, Av Norman picking up a forearms penalty means we have a roller derby athletics power jam for Austin. Glides around the outside line as Roche is being goated by Team USA. Team USA dropping right back. That means that Mick Dastardly and Goy Verts have to come back in. Sorry, it's Keegan playing. And Goy Verts, lovely spin there by Austin. And Atlas again providing that block for that yeah. inside line. Always those well timed blocks at quite the right moment. And the period clock has expired, so this will be the last jam of this event. And uh, Ab Norman has not yet made his initial pass. Uh, we've got 25 seconds left on the jam clock, so he's going to have to do some work if he wants to get some more points on the board for Team Ireland. But with a five block penalty being issued, Ab Norman's now back on track. Ireland now doing some more clearing. Time now winding down, five seconds. And this result was uh, similar to what we expected here with the USA at 292, uh, Ireland at seven. But I have, I have a very important acknowledgement to make here. Um, Ladies, gentlemen, and uh, non-binary, this is uh, Holly's 101st game. Last <laughs> night, having having called her 100th game here at the Men's World Cup, and that is quite the honor. And uh, you know, to that to that effect, someone uh, has has tweeted in. Uh, Alistair, Alistair has tweeted in. Uh, I think I could listen to Holly announce paint dry. <laughs> Number one announcer at oh, MRDWC. Ali, I know Ali. Ali's from the Bruising Banditas in Halifax. A big shout very out nice. to those guys there. Thank you very well, much. Well, you've been doing a superb job, so well deserved and congratulations Thank you on very that, much. that milestone. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to have this 101th game with you, Marcus Ryan. Yeah. Awesome. And of course, a big thank you to King Crazy, who's been producing for us. Uh, for allowing me the pleasure of announcing Team Ireland. They are my home team. I do love Wonderful. the boys in green, and it's been great seeing them get those few points. They will be so pleased for those few points there against Team yeah. USA. Definitely, and, and the crowd here really into it, you know. Uh, and, and we've seen that all weekend. The crowd is behind the teams, regardless of the scores. Uh, such a great spirit of camaraderie, and I love that. It's 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 what roller derby is all about, and, and the refs are being treated well, and. Every, everyone is happy to be here. So. Yeah, it's so uplifting, it really yeah, is. Really is. So, fantastic, and uh, with that, well, that's all, all I have. Do you have anything else? Yeah, we just to let you know, the next game here on the Sisu track is Team Japan versus Team Finland. So do hang around, Team Japan, always a pleasure to watch. Team that's Finland right. have been playing so they well have. this this, this uh, tournament as well. Finland. So keep your eyes peeled on this Sisu track. I've been Holly. And I've been Rockus.
real dip, clap the pack. If you clock the clock, then I can jam the track. Quads on the floor, stars on the head. Roller to be locked with the zebra said. Yeah, we rollin', yeah, we rappin' for real. Can feel the back wheels underneath my heels. Up through my spine, penetrating the heart. Callin' up the jam till the next jam starts. We really miss the feeling of spontaneously visiting a store and trying out the newest gear. Hang out for all roller skaters. Everyone has their own unique style. Because of our large assortment, we can now personalise roller skates while you wait, so you can try them out right away. Our mission is to fit you with the right gear, and don't forget to turn left. Hey, this is Dan from S1 Helmets. We're in the testing lab today, testing helmets to see if they pass the multiple impact certification test. We're going to be testing three helmets today. A soft foam helmet with EVA foam and a terry cloth liner. The hockey helmet with triple density EVA foam. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam. All three of these helmets are marketed as multiple impact helmets. We're gonna test all of them today and see which ones actually pass the test. The multiple impact test is when we drop a helmet to achieve a velocity of 4.57 meters per second. This simulates a 10 mile an hour impact or a four foot drop. The same helmet is tested three times in the same location. The helmet must reduce the energy pulse to under 300 Gs each time. Anything over 300 Gs can result in a traumatic brain injury or a severe concussion. In summary, the soft foam helmet with EVA foam and the hockey helmet with triple density foam did not pass the multiple impact test. The S1 Lifer helmet with EPS fusion foam did pass the multiple impact test.
man, welcome back to the Sea Street Studio. This is Bob Noxious. I'm standing here with all of Team Ireland. <laughs> no, this is incredible. They've got something that they want to say to a teammate of theirs, but let's talk just a little bit about the tournament. First off, I'm with Captain Lieutenant Dam, and I'm here with Heron. Uh, Aaron, I'm going to ask you first. You were at the 2014 World Cup in Birmingham, is my understanding, correct? No. I am not correct. <laughs> Did that guy ditch on us? What's that? No, I, I was there for that one. This is his first World okay, Cup. Okay, well, this is I'm my sorry. first one. So, Lieutenant Dam, you tell me, what is the biggest difference between the two events? Um, to be completely honest, both events have been run really, really well. Um, it's been really smooth. Everyone's been really, really friendly. Um, so yeah, it's, I, I couldn't pick between them. It's been an absolutely fantastic experience. Have you have you found that the introduction of more teams has made it more interesting? Look, playing over four days is definitely making it much more taxing <laughs> on your body. Uh, I think I'm pretty much held together by tape right now. <laughs> and what about you, Harry? What's been your favorite moment so far? Uh, just getting seven points against USA. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. There's the highlight reel. There's your personal resume. <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. All right. So I understand that there's somebody that was very critical in putting this whole thing together for you guys, and that you that you've got a message for him. Yes. And yes. and I'll let you go ahead and say it. Um, I just want to say hi to Owen Flynn back home. Um, if it wasn't for Owen, none of us would be here, and we really miss you. Um, and we hope we made you proud, Owen. Thanks very much for everything that you do. And I'm not going to cut Cheers, Owen. Thank you, Owen. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. Team Ireland. Thank you. Thank you, Owen. I'm Bob Noxious, and uh, we're going to go back to the track.